Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this video we'll be chilling out a little bit, we're playing 2.6 Hog EQ. Which is currently my main deck and it's one of the most fun decks for me in the game. So yeah, we're having chilling out a bit. Playing a bit ladder because I just decided I wanted to leave it to the last week of the season to finally be bothered to push the ultimate champion. Um, so yeah, we're currently dealing with the, the consequence of my own actions because I don't want to let a season go by without reaching it because that would just be... That would just be bad. I mean, when, like, whenever I can, I may as well just put in a little bit of time and actually do it. And I think I will have a pretty good win rate because I, have just, I just haven't played all that much ladder this season. And so I think I should have a pretty decent win, win rate for it. So I kind of would like to see where I end up. Let's go for the hog here. And uh, yeah, guys, I, I've started um, listening to... The, so I'm not really a book reader, but I do enjoy a good audiobook. So I started listening to this audiobook by Wim Hof. Um, called The Wim Hof Method. And I'm very, very intrigued about some of this, this guy's claims. I'm sure, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of him. He's called. He's also known as like the Iceman. Oh, and by the way, yeah, we're just going to eat that balloon because why not? Um, he's also known as like the Iceman. And uh, he's got some very, very interesting kind of physiological claims. So I'm going to be trying to take some cold showers for the next like month. And um, seeing how, where that takes me, how I end up with that. Because I'm, I'm very interested by this guy's kind of, kind of outlook on life. So I'm... Yeah, if you if any do take cold showers or take cold, do like cold exposure in any sort of way, let me know. I'm intrigued to see if you think it actually does have kind of physiological backing to it because I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm I'm very very interested, but I'm not really sure if I buy it or not. You know, you know if you just you, you want I, I like I want to believe it because it's quite cool. He claims he can like cure like what's a part like. Reduce the effects of Parkinson's and there's a whole list of other things he, th he claims I can do. Reduce the effects of MS. So I'm, so I'm very, very interested. And, and yeah, but if, if these things are true, then fair play to, to him because that's crazy. But I just, I don't know. I, I just, it's hard to tell. Okay, I went in for the logdown in case he decided to go for Skelly Army. He didn't. So now I just wasted Elixir. Let's go for Knight here and then I can go for Tesla for the balloon. Right about now, it will pull it out of the rage, but it probably will still get one hit off on the... Okay, he's going to go in for the arrows. He's starting to get scared. Okay, let's go for this. Let's go for this. Um, we have just got pretty much hard countered this game. I, I did just play bad. We kind of had that one exposure off the start that I just haven't been able to recover from, unfortunately. But yeah, boys, we will have straight in the game number two. Okay, and yes, guys, we are back for game number two against Chicken Nugget. <laughs> Great name, I, I love it. But yeah, so as I was saying, I'm I'm a bit of a fiend for a good audiobook. So if you guys know any good audiobooks, I'd say I've listened to the David Goggins one as well, which what's it called Can't Hurt Me or something along them lines, and um, I very very much enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys think of these kind of books, and if you'd ever give stuff like like the Wim Hof method to try. So if, if anyone who doesn't know, I'm, I'll just give a quick rundown. Like I'm getting paid for it or something, but um, yeah, it's pretty much he claims that like through cold exposure and like certain breathing techniques, you can like cure like control your autonomous nervous system, which is just like your nervous system that reacts like your cardiovascular system. We'll say, I'm not gonna say too much about the nervous systems. I don't fully understand it, but hopefully I will, and I will report back if I notice some insane benefits. And I think everyone should give this a try. I just don't know. It's a it's a it's a weird one, because some of the stuff that comes out with is like, is it physically possible? Like like what. For reducing the symptoms of MS, or not symptoms, um, the degeneration caused by MS, like that's that's an outrageous claim. <laughs> For anyone who knows what MS is, it's it's outrageous claim. So I, I'm I'm very very intrigued. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm I'm just gonna I'll stop hating on him, and I'll let him do his thing. Hopefully we can get that little prince down, which we can. Very nice. I go for my evil knight. Evil knight will get burned, but that's okay. Uh, we should clean all this up with a little damage taken without having to spend more elixir. Only the guardian left who's going to get one hit, two hits. Very lovely, isn't that? Just excellent. We love the little prince. Okay, I'm going to go for my skeletons here. I'm going to hit the log as well. Log's not quite early enough and we're going to take some damage up the left side. But it will just kind of even the towers out. No, it won't. It'll actually push him up the left side now. So now I have to not only contest against him coming up my side... Or contest of him having 
damage on both sides more than I have. But I have to contest the same side as him, which is just fantastic, isn't it, boys? <laughs> no, we, we, can, we can still win this. We can still win this. Let's go for Knight here. Okay, has he played his Pekka this life? Uh, not that it matters. I'm going to have to go up the other lane now. Okay, okay. So how can we defend these bad boys? Let's do this somehow. Okay, nice. Nice. Pretty pretty clean defense. Let's go for the Ice Spirit up high. Nice. Let's go for this. Hit the log. He's going to go mini pack, obviously. Okay, nice. We get a good bit of damage up the left. We do manage to take out the... Uh, what's it called? The mini pack as well. I'm going to go for skeletons here in the center. Then I go for the knight on top of the bomber. <clears throat> and then right about now, we're going to go for the hog. Cool, we're going to go firecracker here. <clears throat> nice, he goes in for the arrows. We do get the one hit off anyway, so we get quite nice there. Okay. Go for Tazza here in the center. Wait for the ability to come in. Billy's not going to come in. Okay, that's quite nice. <clears throat> now let's go for the Skellens here in the middle. Firecracker. Okay, cool. Now we go for the Log. Go for the Evo Knight here. Pretty nice comeback so far. We're doing really well here. So we're just going to keep this going. Let's go for this. Then I'm going to hit the Firecracker here. We might give him double Firecracker or double arrow value. But it doesn't really matter. He's not going to get a chance to do that. Because we do take the win. Let's hop straight into game number three. And yes, we are back for the third and final game of today's episode. This guy's going to be playing Hog with the Goblin Barrel, apparently. So hopefully we can pick up a pretty nice win here. Um, bit of a random combo. I do see it sometimes, though, to be fair. It's definitely not the first time I've ever seen this combo, but it just seems like the type of combo you use whenever you really like both cards and you don't know which you actually want to put in your deck. So you just put in everything. And I fully respect him for that. That's... You know, I mean, that's what the game should be about. Just... Going in, just throwing in whatever you like into a deck. He just took Logbeat and threw in a uh, Hog Rider, and like that's it's kind of dope, I can't lie. So he does make a bit of a fool out of us at the start here, so we're kind of down, well, we're even pretty much, but yeah, we, we the Skeleton Army with the Valkyrie, I didn't really know how to react to it. I probably should have like, used my Earthquake defensively, but I just did nothing, which is, is not, it's not ideal. It's not really the right play to make. Okay, so we might be in a bit of trouble. Hmm, okay, okay. Get that down now, please. Okay, so we're in a good bit of a, a deficit here as far as as far as damage goes. And this Skarmy's gonna do a lot more because my firecracker is just not getting the splash damage that I would want out of a firecracker. But you know what kind of firecracker would it be if it did the job it's meant to do? Do you know what I mean? Not a, not not the not the firecracker we know and love, because the firecracker we all know and love just likes a little bit of trolling, you know. It likes to just have a bit of fun, and, and I, I like you know that's the way it's meant to be. <laughs> okay, let's go for the evil knight here. That should take out both of them, I hope, unless he comes out with something wild, which he's not going to. <clears throat> now I'm, I'm expecting a hog push here. Whenever this dies, yeah, and he goes to the hog. He goes to the goblin barrel. We just clean both of them up with relative ease, and we're gonna get some damage off with the evil knight. Can we a third hit. Nice, nice. We get a good bit of damage off there. Watch this, boys. He's gonna go for the Skarmy here. So we're gonna go three, two, one, and what? Pow! Oh, never mind. <laughs> he also missed with that, so it really didn't matter. And that should be GG. I, as long as I don't choke here, this should be a pretty, pretty much game over. So we're gonna go for the. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no, no. Get the UT here. My firecracker will not be dying right now, sir. No, thank you. Okay, let's go Skellens here, let's go this, let's go this, let's go Knight in the center. Very nice, Knight, oh, I missed with the, missed the tower with that, but that's okay. Let's go for Tesla here before he goes to the Princess. Nice, go this. Excuse my 10 out of 10 uh, commentary, just saying, yeah, we're going to go with this. <laughs> Pure quality, and let's go for the Evo Knight, and no games. That is it, dub for game number three, boys. And yes, guys, this is the deck that we did use for today's video. Really fun deck, really strong deck, and actually this exact deck was played at CRL, so it just goes to show you, if you're a lot better than I am, you can take this deck very, very far. So um, do be sure to give it a try if you haven't already. It is one of my favorite ones. I did recently swap to this version that has the skeletons over the goblins, just that faster cycle. 
it has its ups, it has its downs. You can swap in the goblins if you want a bit more kind of defensive ability rather than cycle. And you obviously can swap the firecracker in to be the the evolution. If you're going to do that, I would recommend swapping in the mighty miner instead of the knight. But yes, guys, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy, do be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.